है मिस्टर Hey Mr. We are here in Berlin with Olivia Silva from the director of Acadia. Thank you very much for the interview. How is it to be here? How is it to have your film here? It's been amazing and wonderful. Berlin is an amazing city. I love it. The fo whole festival has been so welcoming and uh it's we showed our film to about a thousand people the other day, which was unheard of. I mean, I never knew that anyone could fill a theater with that many people for a small film like this. So, it was really excellent. We got a good reception and I definitely want to come back. Okay, it sounds great. Um your film has a very like moving story. It gets really under the skin. Um is there any connection to to you to yourself in the story is there any connection Yeah, I did a a similar road trip when I was Greta's age when I was about 12 years old. Um we moved from the East Coast to the West Coast of America on a long road trip with my father and two of my siblings. So, um it was a similar similar experience that I had and I wanted to make the film feel real. I wanted people to be able to relate to it and connect to it. Um that's the most important thing to me. Just that, you know, we, a lot of people have been through similar kinds of things with families splitting up or and it's hard to, you know, see that on the big screen. You don't often see see it approached realistically so that was the intention for this and um what we also really would like to know is how did you work with the kids like how did you direct them because as you said it's really authentic mm -hmm. like uh, yeah what did you do how did you direct them well first you just have to get great kids and we got really lucky and got some amazing actors um Ryan and Ty Simpkins and Kendall Tool they're just very natural and that's what I looked for just kids that could just play themselves almost you know not feel that they had to play a different role not overact um so so basically most of the credit lies with them um and, and we just talked about things we talked about you know what the experience meant to them where perhaps they had been before in their lives as characters you know where you know we kind of did a back story for them and 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 that was about it really they just sort of were natural and it was good okay and then the last question um is there any like symbolic connection between um coming of age like a coming of age film and the road trip you know it it i th i think there there it wasn't overt and, and you know i wasn't pairing the two on purpose but i think that there is and i tried to subtly bring those connections out um just you know when you're basically she's going into a whole new world a whole new landscape moving from new england to the west you know physically it looks different um so that's kind of what what she's going through internally as well she's becoming a a young woman she's no longer a child um you know and in some ways it is that drastic of a cut you know sometimes there's certain events in one's life that literally from one day to the next you kind of grow up and that was what this film was about and i think it worked um that it just so happens that they were also traveling to a brand new place um on the outside as well okay thank you very